Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is how do I stop being angry towards men? Well, even though this was written to me by a woman, I want to address this to both sexes because the one thing that I hear pretty much daily in my coaching sessions and in some of my on my advice column is there's a lot of jaded attitude when it comes to both sexes. So the men are upset about the women, the girls are upset about the guys. We have to stop generalizing and painting everybody with the same brush because maybe we had one or two bad experiences. You attract people towards you. That's your choice. You're the one that allows them in. So if you're going to be mad at anybody, get mad at yourself because you're choosing the people that seem to be upsetting you. So start to look at back at some of the patterns that you've had in your life when it comes to the men in your life or the women in your life. Has somebody really broken your heart and left you sitting there questioning the entire group as one person? So if you think that all men are the same and they're all treating you badly, you have to go and look back in your past as to what you allowed in. Who did you date back then that you've got this, this sort of internal anger about the entire sex of men? Like, is this really fair? Like when you sit down and think about it and you talk to your girlfriends about it and you lump all guys into one situation, do you really believe that? Because everybody's individual. We, we can't sit there and judge everybody as the same person. It's not fair and it's not right and it's not going to help your life in the future because you're just going to stay stuck. If you keep recycling those same thoughts over and over again, oh, men are a bunch of whatever, uh, men are all the same, they treat women like crap, these thoughts that are going around and around in your head are going to stay there because that's what you believe. And when you believe it, it's going to keep coming towards you that way. Sit down and say to yourself, well, how did I get here? What made me so jaded about this? Why do I think all men are just not great guys? And guys out there, you've got to sit down and listen to this as well. Because if you're saying that all women just want your money or they just want to latch on to you so that they can take your house or take this and take that. I hear this so often and it's it's really kind of upsetting to me because I don't like the, the way that we've sort of got ourselves into this place because it's really sad and you're sabotaging your own happiness because you truly believe that all men are bad or all women are bad and lumping everybody into this category is not going to help your love life. It's probably not going to help your dating life at all because you're going to give off this vibe the minute that someone meets up with you because you're angry. You have to get to the bottom of the anger. What has triggered you to feel this strongly to have this opinion? Not all guys are bad. Not all girls are there to steal something from you. We have to stop this thinking because it's really tarnishing even how we relate to each other just in a common common way and right now we're not relating relating to each other you know in person as much right now and when we can go out and do it again we need to get this inside of us that we, we want to start over let's change up this thinking and understand that each time we meet a new person they're individual they're not a part of a group so please stop thinking about this as a, a detriment to just you know every guy and every woman. We have to start thinking about the good things. If we keep relaying all this stuff out there that everybody's bad, it, how, how are we going to move on? How are we going to move forward and to be able to fall in love and be happy with somebody? If you're that guarded and you've got a big veneer up about something that happened to you in the past that you're really hurt about, take some time away. Try to keep yourself out of situations that make you want to have an argument about it or look for a fight. Sit back and just take some time for you. 
Get to know who you are. Don't put any energy into dating or relationships. Give it a good six months to a year. Talk to somebody about it. Maybe there's something from a long time ago that happened to you and you just now look at everybody as the same because they're not. And I really want people to get this, that it's, it's such a constant verbalization from both sexes. And how's that working for anybody? It's just keeping everybody stuck and everybody single or lonely or just serial dating all the time. Nobody wants to continue dating and dating and dating and dating, saying the same old things over and over again, or pulling completely back and not giving anybody a chance. So let's really stop and think about our actions, our thoughts, and what our mind keeps processing, because it's super important to give people a chance. Don't, as they say, don't paint everybody in that same, with that same brush, because they're not like that. Everybody has a good side. We're not always compatible with, with each other. Yes, we get hurt. Yes, we have problems in our relationships, but it doesn't mean every single person you date or are in a relationship with from now on is going to be the same person. Learn from your mistakes and choose better. That's what I have to say today, a little bit of a rant. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Please leave your comments below. What do you think? Are you tired of hearing all this stuff too? Or do you actually believe that all women are a certain way and all men are a certain way? Do you think this is okay? Or do you think we need to change it? Thanks for tuning in today. And please uh, check out my blog at, dear, or, sorry, at cybersue.com. And please subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.